I'm Nick. I'm Ash. I'm Bob. And we're here to talk about light pollution. Light pollution is the excessive use of artificial lights. These lights can come from street lights, inhabited areas, and your own home. The effects of light pollution can be very se severe and 80% of the world is living under it. It poses a threat to the wildlife, ecosystem, human health, and the research at Siding Spring Observatory. Siding Spring Observatory is located on the edge of Warren Bungle National Park in New South Wales. It is one of Australia's most well-known protected observatories. Light pollution prevents stars and other foreign objects from appearing in the night sky. When astronomers can't see any of these objects, the amount of research they can do is limited. This is why a critical light threshold has been determined to reduce the amount of light pollution and allow astronomers to do important research. The current level of light pollution at Siding Springs is good, meaning skies are light pollution free. Even so, we must help maintain the critical light threshold to prevent light pollution from reaching the critical level, meaning that we might lose our dark sky park and the research at Siding Springs is highly restricted. There are three main types of light pollution, glare, sky glow and light trespass. Glare is when uncontrolled light directly shines into your eyes. The significant change in brightness causes visual discomfort and difficulty adjusting to light levels. These lights typically come from inefficient outdoor lighting. Sky glow is when a large amount of artificial light points upward into the night sky over inhabited areas. The light interferes with our nighttime vision. Therefore, we cannot see stars and constellations under areas where sky glow is present. The a areas where sky glow is most common include cities and tourist attractions. Light trespass in when, is when artificial light spills out of their intended area and shines into unwanted places. These include the neighbors' homes and sometimes the habitat of animals. These lights are poorly controlled and can disrupt our sleeping patterns. As you can see, light pollution is a serious problem. Therefore, we need to re decrease its effects immediately to prevent public health issues, energy waste and economical consequences. We want to reduce the amount of artificial light within the Cumberland Council. These suburbs include Lidcombe, Auburn, Parramatta, Maryland, Guildford and Borella. Ineffective light fixtures contribute to glare and light trespass. Examples of this include unshielded street lights, lights at sporting facilities, lights with exposed bulbs, and decoration lights at events. Light fixtures that point downwards are and are fully shielded will reduce light pollution significantly. Decreasing the brightness, color, and intensity of the bulb will also reduce the effects of glare and light trespass. Lights at our homes and office buildings are wasted. This could be because of cleaners, security guards, or night workers, but diffusion of responsibility plays the biggest role. Diffusion of responsibility is a psychological phenomenon when people assume someone else will do a task for them. Setting timers and motion sensors to these buildings will reduce energy wastage significantly. We also want to cooperate with the Cumberland Council by presenting them a policy on light pollution. This policy will include many things we've said in the, the video already, such as the cause, effects and solutions to light pollution. This way we can encourage our community to take action to prevent light pollution. Our goal for this video is to raise the awareness of light pollution around the world, not just in Sydney. Light pollution may seem intimidating, but the solutions are just within an arm's reach. We're not asking to turn off all lights, just use them responsibly. So support Siding Springs, the Dark Sky Association and us by spreading the word to your friends, neighbours, colleagues and sharing your thoughts online like we did. Now head out and save the Dark Sky!